is 9.30. Um, apparently it's some kind of new thing I'm doing, cooking food at like the second I wake up. Um, but it gets so hot in my kitchen so I can't really do it during the day. But today we are making uh, risotto balls and they are a traditional, I think they are from Sicily. You take the rest of the risotto and then you bread it and then you fry it. Um, I have never made it before but I have tasted it before and I think that it will be very good. So we will do that. Um, I will put a little bit of mozzarella inside and then I will make a simple tomato sauce on the side for dipping. You can also make a pesto or you can make like a garlic dip or something. I have never tried any of them. Just having coffee. Um, okay, but let's begin. Okay, so of course you need uh, the leftover risotto. It has been so hard not to eat the leftovers <laughs> for the couple, past couple of days. <laughs> Uh, and then uh, fresh mozzarella and then you need uh, breadcrumbs, flour and um, egg and then I bought this oil to fry them in. I have never fried anything before so um, and then you will need, no I'm just kidding, <laughs> uh, but it is a good idea to have some sort of back up when you're frying something because it can get very dangerous very fast. Okay, but I think that's it. Um, I can't really remember. Oh yeah, the tomato sauce. The tomato sauce will just be uh, Italian tomatoes, salt, pepper, one clove of garlic and also maybe some basil, but um, that's in the garden. But let's begin. I'm not quite sure what to do first. I, I don't know how long the oil should heat up, but maybe we should put that on first. So, the oil is in. Let's just start by heating it up. And don't put it on the highest heat. That's what I could read on Google, that you shouldn't heat it too much up. Okay, so I just put it on eight. Uh, the max is nine. And I'm not putting a lid on. I also read online that you're not allowed to have your um, fan on or whatever it is the the suction thing because if if the pot caught on fire uh, then the fire can spread up through the ventilation system and through the roof and whatever don't do that let's start just by um, draining the cheese and you're not gonna use all of the cheese just a little bit so let's just start by cutting some off and you're going to cut little cubes because you're going to put each cube inside of a bowl. So let's, maybe this is a bit too big, but um, I'll try and cut them smaller. I think this is a good size. Then you add to each of the plates, like I did in the chicken video. You just add breadcrumbs to one of them. And you would want to go for breadcrumbs that is very fine for this. Um, I know that a lot of people love panko breadcrumbs, but they are not the best option for just this one. And then add flour to another one. And then on the one with flour, I would add salt and pepper. And then just stir that in. And then on the last one, you just add egg. And I think I will go for two eggs. Let's do the tomato sauce. And a clove of garlic. So then you begin to assemble. So first you just make it flat and then you add a piece of cheese. Then you just roll it into a ball. So 
So you roll it first in the flour. And then you roll it in the egg. And then in the breadcrumbs. Put it on the board and then you just go over all of them. And then with this spoon, you just add it down. Okay, that wasn't that bad. I think maybe I can put one more in. So, you can see they're pretty brown now. I'll just give them a few minutes more. Just maybe 30 seconds more. I don't have any cool idea of plating, but uh, let's just go for it. Okay, I'm happy with that.